Good evening. We are live. We're going to work on some coding today. So that's the plan anyway. I feel like uh, good to go. I've got the uh, stream go and I got my fresh cup of coffee. I do have to adjust the audio. It's a little bit loud on my end, but that's okay. I, I can adjust it. Uh, just a little down click and I hope everybody's well. So yesterday, to catch you up to speed, I was uh, working on saving to a JSON file. And that's where I am right now. I'm working on that, but I don't know where to put it. So let's look at the save chatter script. I don't have this in, in my script now. I'm thinking about where should it go? This will create a, a file and save it and then I can load the file, but name needs to be, be the entity of this object. If I had a bot, it would reference that, but I'm testing now away from the bot. So here's the thing. Every chat game I play, I need to have this in. So if I had, um, if I had an ID, let me see something. Do I have any way to illustrate what I want? Um, there's got to be a way to explain it without like loading up something as powerful as the GIMP. But the GIMP is the only thing right now I can think of that I'm proficient enough with to uh, just have that to show what I'm looking for. Maybe with a combination of green shot and other things. So file new. And so we've got this. Can I just make this? How do I change the color of this? Proficient, yep. Very, very proficient. I don't even see the window for color. There it is. So what we're looking at, if I go into my project scene, I've got this hierarchy structure. I've got the high card game, I've got the slot machine game, and I've got the tag game. Now, regardless of whatever game I have playing, I want to be able to use this save chatter to keep track of the player information and things. So that's the structure I'm thinking about. Right now. So the challenge with that is going to be, where do I put it? Like right now, the object that I use for Twitch is in the uh, tag. And so tag, when I run, that's the first game that runs. So if I load this up, no, it's not. The high card is the first game, but yet it's connected to Twitch. What's controlling what game comes first? What's controlling what games comes first? That's that's an interesting one. Let me get a joke real quick. And so make sure that all the stuff is working right now. Okay, the game stops. I can jump over to uh, high low now. I can jump over from high low. I should be able to jump over to slots. From slots, I should be able to jump over to tag. So all those, all those pieces work. Um, yeah, they're all working. So let me uh, let me look at some. where would I want? Where would I want my I feel like maybe the Twitch IRC that's connecting, is that the script that's getting the first input? Let me see something. Oh, it's interesting. It's not that Twitch IRC. Tag. Let me see something. Slot machine. I card. None of those. Tag. I've got I've got to move this off the screen for a second. If I go to this main thread, Twitch IRC. Oh, there it is. There's a script called the main thread. See this main thread right here? Let me see what the main thread script is. Main thread. But this is the one. Using system, using system collection generic, using the unit. This script is used to send multi-threaded operations to the main Unity thread. 
main thread mono behavior, public static main thread instance, get in a set, read only, queue the tasks. When this awakes, instance this, don't destroy this, destroy this game object. I want this to be available on every scene, right? Summary, execute task, void update, lock the task queue. So I did not write this. This was part of the Twitch connection tool. I did not write that one. I'm just trying to figure out when I run this, where will that script go? That's the that's the challenge. Because Twitch IRC, let me see what it says if I say if I go to properties, I don't want to I don't I don't want to reveal that. Let me see something. If I right click on properties, what is that going to tell me? Okay, that's the same thing that are in, it's to untag, layer default, prefab open, select and overrides. I don't want to get too much of a memory hog. Too much of a memory hog. I need that empty scene, the scene with nothing. All right, let's make the scene the game over. So game over scene has nothing on it. So let's go to scenes. We're going to create a new scene. Create a scene. And this scene is like this. It's just the bot only. Like it's when the game is over. It's the resting state. It's the waiting state. It's the waiting. What do I call it? It's like the waiting scene, the resting scene. It doesn't have anything going on with it. What's a name that means nothing? I could call it Seinfeld. Like, isn't that the show about nothing? So this is the scene about nothing. But I, I do like calling it the game over scene. Game over. So let's look at this game over scene. What do I want in the game over scene? Really, I want the game over scene to be the starting scene. How do I save my, like a backup of my project? I'm worried if I mess something up, if it will, it will just ruin it. Let me, let me see something. Where is this pro project at? Game over. I got to go to the folder where it is. Um, show and explore. One more bot. So let's go to one more bot. How much? let's see, one more bot. 7-zip. Let's just compress this real quick. It might take a few minutes. This process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that it's being used by another process and I can't access it. We're, we're still going to do this. We're just going to let this build. Hope everyone's doing well. Yesterday I was not at my normal location. I was using the hosp hospital Wi-Fi, and it kicked me off. I got about an hour into the stream, so maybe that was a good thing. I was able to go to sleep. I saw him wanted to sleep anyway. All right, so if you're new to the channel, I like to play thinking games. I like to uh, try to code with the help of the stream. And as soon as this is done building, uh, we'll be in good shape. I can I can move on to phase two. If you looked at the uh, show title tonight, it is definitely the stream title that I want to be able to save and um, load JSON files, and that is accurate. One more bot is not going to be able to connect until I rebuild it because I changed the OAuth code. I was just trying to experience to how to see how you could see what OAuth, OAuth codes are out there, and I didn't see a way to see old ones. So that, that was the way that worked. It takes studio mood off. All right. Mm -hmm. We're listening to OC Remix in the background. I think all that is open, open to be used with no problem. Files. There's a lot of files on this. Didn't take long though. Did it say 100%? Yeah, 100% compressing. You think it would close on its own? We'll give it a minute. 
Why is finishing up? We'll get a joke here. Exclamation jokes. Where did Captain Hook get his hook? From the second hand store. From the second hand store. All right. All right. It still says 100% files. 22450 of 22762. I'm not sure. Error is 11. I don't know why it's stuck on that. Elapsed time and remaining time zero. I guess it's done. Just wanted to let me know there's 11 errors. And I'm content with that. That's fine. All right. So if I move Twitch IRC over the main camera, let me see what happens when I run now. Let's see if it connected. Let's see if there's any game right now. Joke, if I type in tag, yeah, it's not going to tag. So I think I found the answer to my question. This game over scene is the scene that I'm gonna want. So in the main camera, we wanna add a component and this component's going to be a new script, and it's going to be called, um, it's running everything. So select game. Create an ad. And where would select game be? It doesn't show up there yet. All right, so we got to go look for where select game would be. Um, that's Space Desk Driver, by the way, is fantastic. It's just a great tool. All right. That's another topic. We're going to go over to my Unity Buy here. I should have a script called Select Game. If I, there it is. If I double click on this, Select Game. Okay. Let's give this a description here. This script will, you know, be controlling entering a new game. You know, controlling entering game, and it is the default place when the game is over. So this means to me on this object, this is going to know all the players and it's going to be where that information comes from, you know, because the, the select game thread is in that game over. It's in the game over scene, right? There's my game over scene, main camera. I kind of wanted to script to stand, stand alone under game over, but Maybe it shouldn't be a wild bird might appear as exclamation poke catch winners revealed in 90 seconds. Do I have an ultra ball left? No, I wonder, I wonder if the select game, I wonder if the select game strip can be put into the game over scene, like just right this, can it go on? No, can't go on the game over. It's gotta be on its own. All right. Why does, Wait a minute, why does Twitch IRC show under that? Can't, can't Twitch IRC be part of game over like that? What happens if I play now? Okay, let me see something. Hello? Attack. Yeah, so none of this is going. It's not going to anything. So. The main camera is there because it's at the same, they're at the same layer. So let me look at one of our other scripts that is controlling moving from one game and it should just be waiting for that information. So let's look at one of the scripts I have that's in existence. Let's just go to the card game and let's look what's happening. This script will take a chat input high low. Read only, list string, toothpicks, new list. I'm just going through to get a look. Private Twitch IRC, public game object, my prefab, dealer's card, chatter. 
Oh, I caught the bird, my way to go. All right, I do need this, the public chatter, latest chat. I think I'm gonna need that because public void new message. All right, this is, I wanna see if this happens. Right here, public void new message. Yep, we just want the new message part up here. Public void new message. Let's copy this, control C, and let's go into our select game. And this would be in the public void new message. Let's do this. Public void new message. Let's um, control this out of there. So the latest chatter, I need to have that variable. I definitely need that variable. And we've got that in the card game. There at the top. Public latest chatter right here. Public chatter, latest chatter. I've got one error. Somewhere a thing is expected. Public void new message, chatter, chatter. Public void new message, chatter, chatter. Let me get this. I'm not sure why I have that there. We got to take this off. Public chatter, latest chatter, public void new message. Latest chatter equal chatter, string phrase equal chatter message. String words equals phrase with it. I don't need to do this right now in this. If chatter, okay. Tag slots, this will let me know at least if it's, if it's working in this part. Let's just see, save it. And we're gonna run it. We're just, this is gonna see if our game over scene puts us where we wanna be. By game over scene. All right, we're, so we're, it looks like we're in a blank scene. I just see a camera loaded. I don't see anything of any value. If I type tag now, and then I type joke. No, it didn't go to tag. Let's see one more time, tag. Yes, it never. Let me see something. It's never getting this new message. What if I put it on the Twitch IRC script itself? And I can I make it a component of the Twitch IRC script? Instead of the main camera. Let's remove this. Select game strict. Let's remove this component. Hey, bank source, welcome. Welcome. I am uh, back with my regular bot and trying to... Okay, here's what I'm doing today. There's two parts. The first part is I want to have the game over scene, which is kind of like in control of selecting all the games you go to. And I'm trying to find out where I put the save and load chatter data script. So I'm thinking if it's a component within the Twitch IRC, that might be the best way to do it. So yesterday, after you had left, I was able to save and load a JSON with the name, an arbitrary name. So this time I wanna be able to get the name from the chatter. So that's part of what I'm doing. So right now, I just wanna make sure I'm not, uh, I wanna move right here. In this, I want to see if I can put a script on that game object. I want to see if the select game can become a, a component there. Because that way, it'll have access, I feel, to the Twitch IRC right away built in with Unity. So that's what I'm going to see right now. Let's see what happens when I run it. We're going to go, it, it loads up no scene. If I type tag, is it going to go to my tag scene? 
No, it's not. It's not moving to tag yet. Ben and Jerry's really need to improve their operation. The only way to get there is down a rocky road. Okay, so we're going to stop that. I'm going to move the select game script. I'm going to remove the com component from there. And I'm going to re-back re and put it where I want it. I want it just in its own. I'm going to create... Uh, maybe I just create an empty object for it. Where did the empty object go? Not there. I want it down here. Game object. And we'll rename this to... I think you need to do something to make it call your new message method. Yeah, I... Right, I knew I need to pull in the uh, the get object of the Twitch IRC component. I think something like that. I, I'm going to pull it right up. I I'm going to call this. Uh, I'm going to call this select. You know what? What was it in the in the Wizard of Oz? I'm going to just call it Oz because I'll know what it is. It's probably a terrible naming convention, but we're going to pull select game and put him on Oz. Then we're gonna go into this script and start looking at it. Let's let's look at look at latest chatter. Let's go into the script. Edit script. Now all my other things, like if I go into, for example, the card game, up here, I bring this private Twitch I R I C R I C and I have that. So I think I'm gonna need that because it's gonna need to know where the new message is. So we're gonna need that in our select game and then if we look back at the card game I don't need my prefab I don't need dealer card I don't need the card images I don't need that I don't need that I don't need that then where does this new message comes in right here public void new message chatter chatter I think but where do I have IRC declare let me see some there it is, IRC, I need this. I need this. And where do I have that main thread? Public void awake, no. Where is the IRC? Where is IRC called? Not the main thread. I was just in it, high card. It's in start. You are right. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yes. All right. So public void start. Right there. I think that's it. Now let's see if this is doing this. We're getting somewhere, and also the other thing, depending on how time goes, I want to make, thank you, Blank Source. depending on how this goes, I also want to make those wheels, add a few graphics to them, and have those, um, you know, do some actual spinning. But let's go back into this, and hit play. And we'll see if I can jump now. Oh yeah, spinning baby. That's <laughs> Let's um, see if I can go to tag. Yes, it goes to tag. All right. All right, good. We'll do one quick game of tag. If you'd like to play, that's fine. I don't have any way to go back into the game over scene yet, but game over is gonna be that default scene. What do vegetarian zombies eat? Brains. All right. To make this fair, I'm going to put my commands in. Whoa, we were so close. I. We're so close. And time it. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Left. And then boost. I think this is going to be enough. This is going to be enough to do it. All right, let's do one uh, one pool with the slots. A defluxty, a defluxty, and a satellites. 
And I have my image generator, so I can... Is Black Source code on there? I think I ha I should definitely have it now. I... There it is, Black Source code. Working at the old typewriter. <laughs> uh, I humor myself too easily. All right. All right, so let's go over here now to the script. We need to get in the script. We need to be able to go and leave to game over. So, um, give me a moment to look at one of my, my card game again. So what I have it unload all the scenes when it goes to game over, which is really a waste because the scenes aren't loaded, but they weren't coming from a uniform place before. So I think that that was the uh, issue. So if I find tag, I need a, I need the game over scene. Um, let's let's do this. We got to copy this this type of format anyway, and then go into let's go into the game tag. I don't have it here. Chat movement. Where is game over? Here it is. If chatter tag is play name and high low, right here. And game over. Um game over. Then it should load the scene game over. Is that the I just gotta confirm that's what I called it. Where are my scenes? Oh, I called it game over with a G and then an O. Game over like that. And now I want I want this to be uniformed. Now really, this could be you know, I don't know. I don't know well enough, but when you're repeating code, it should be able to be a method somewhere and just call it. I, I know that much. But right now I'm putting it into every game. Like when I go into uh, the card game, now I'm going to need it here. And when I go into the wheel spin, I'm going to need it here. All right. Then from the game over scene, yeah, let's save, let's save all these scripts now real quick. Save them. Is this song a little repetitive or what? All right. I may actually start liking this music after a while. I may not too. All right, so let's stop our game. It should rebuild, right? Because um, I did some saving of the scripts. Let's go back and make sure they're all saved. A wild Pidgey appears. Catch it using exclamation poke catch. Winners revealed in 90 seconds. Let me see if there's save all. File, save all. Kjergetsky, good to see you. And thanks for stopping in. All right, we are going to cruise over to the bot for a minute and see. Ah, oh, terrain digging. Oh, $95. Well, well, if the game sells, if you sell it for, you know, a dollar a, a dollar a piece, like if you, you had it on like an Android device or whatever. Because with Unity, you're going to be able to build it on any platform. So I wish you great success on it. Let's see now if I can go to tag and then game over. Uh, game over. Yes. Here's the, here's what thirty dollars per copy for the game. Oh, you're competing with a lot of a lot of things at thirty dollars. But I uh, hey, I don't know how much time you're gonna spend with it. You definitely could do it. Right. So then let's see if I can go to slots now. And then game over. And then there's high low. Ooh, high low did not work. It did not go to high low. Let's try if I need to type it in again. All right, so we got to go to game over again. 
I'm not going to high low from my game over script. So it is called high card. That's the name of that. So it's actually going to be high card, low card when it's done. So we're going to go over to the script and look at select game. And if you notice, I only have tag and slots there. I don't have high low. So we're going to do uh, con control C there. And here and high low. And then it's going to load the scene. And what did I say it was called? Let's go look and just make sure we get the same thing. It's called high card. Hi, card. Well, hello there. All right, there's that. What is a ghost's favorite dessert? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. All right, we're going to be able to save this now. No error. Oh, there's an error. What do I do? There is an error. There it is. Now there's no error. The error has been corrected. All right. The error has been corrected. Give me 30 seconds. We will jump back now into the game. And I think it's going to be ready to load it, I think. I really do. When I say loaded, I mean build it and run it. Let's see what happens. All right, so it loaded properly. It's in no game right now. If I type, you know, hello, everyone. Nothing should happen because only the, the Twitch is there. Um, and now if I type in, if I type in tag we should load up the tag game if i type in joke we should get two of these guys all right up stop um down and then left this should be enough to get the stream elements guy perfect and now if i type game over goes back goes back to the window there all right I've got to go to the build settings now. File, build settings. Because I, wait a minute, scenes and build. Tag, stop machine, high card. Um, add open scenes and game over. And now I should be able to, um, let me stop the game from running. I should be able to build and run it now. And we'll be close to the where we want to be. Do you want to save the changes you made in the scenes? Yeah, we'll save them. Hey, Gigantic Bucket, welcome. I, uh, I've i made some progress today, so welcome to the stream. <laughs> All right, we... It's got a timeout after that, but... Um, trying to run it now, I'm going to see if Bionic Toothpick Bot should be over there. And now I should have a game selection screen. If I go to tag and now I type joke. Uh, no, it didn't look. Maybe I, let me just make sure Bionic Bot is oh, it's running there. I did the build and run. Why did that not work? All right, let me see something. Um, tag, let's try again. Joke. No, they're not. They're not coming in. Something is preventing it. All right, let's see if I can do game over. And let me see if slots works. No, something is preventing this. We're going to close one more bot. Let me see what happens when I run the game here. All right, I was trying to run the build version of it. Let me see what happens when I run the build in Unity version of it without the build and run. All right, it's got, this is the screen for the selection frame. Now, if I type in tag, it's loading the tag game. All right. So if you'd like to play the tag game, you just type something and it'll bring your avatar in. 
And then you can move your avatar up, right? We know, if you've been here before, you know how this game works. It, it, and then now the game's over. So Blank Source came in, came in after the game, but I should be able to type in game over now and go back to this easy game. Game over brings it back to the selection screen. Um, now we can choose the game from here. So say we wanted to do the slots. There's your slots, and then we can do a pool. And we got two set elixirs and a new gas. All right, then from there, we can do game over again, and it goes back to the selection screen. And then you could go to high low. And then you could, you know, go high low 10, and it brings your bet. And here I should be able to go back to the game over. And I know, I know, I know the lag right now is setting you off gigantic bucket, but, um, like it's not allowing you, but I could go back to slots and then you could do a pool. Two gigantic buckets and a settling. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't think any of your, <laughs> trying to break it. Are you trying to make me mad? Oh no, you didn't. Oh, the Phils did it today. That's for sure. Hey, Kitty Sushi. Good to have you. Good to have you. Yeah, so we'll do one more pool, see what happens. Cetelix, Nugasm, and a Gigantic Bucket. And then we can go back to game over now. All right, so that's where we are. Now let me see something. I'm gonna stop the game by hitting this. All that worked. Let me go to the build and run settings now. Build settings. Scene tag, scene slot machine, scene high card, scene game over. High card, slot machine, tag, and game over. I want to build all those scenes. So if I click build and run, last time I tried this, it didn't work. It, it didn't work. Like I couldn't select scenes or anything from the built game. I could only do it from the chat window, but you can see right here, it, it's it's been built. It's blank, there's nothing there. Hello? So now I should be able to type like slots. And when I type that, it should be bringing up the slot window and pool should be bring, bringing it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't work when it's built. Um, tag, game over. A, B, C, D. Yep, we're just gonna close it. We're gonna close it. Anybody have an idea on that one? If I run it here, if I play it from within Unity, it works. Watch, if I go to slots, there it is, I can hit pool, and there it is, a, a gigantic bucket of Cetelix and a Defluxty. I can do the game over, the game ends. All right, but if I stop it, if I stop it and do the build and run, it, and maybe it's something with my build settings. Scenes tags, scenes slot machines, scenes high cards, scenes game over. Platform, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Is it not holding into the IRC chat messages for some reason? It's possible at Black Source that would be a good, good explanation. But why, like it never didn't work before when I built it and ran it. Like that's how I would have the green screen effect and be able to have it running in the background. Uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And I, that's what I always guess. <laughs> oh. A hydrate and a stretch. Oh, the, the, the finger stretch is, is the one I really need to work on to improve my typing skills. So I don't know though. I, I always guess peanut butter and jelly sandwiches when somebody asks me to guess. <laughs> um, double attack. <laughs> I got a hats off. Oh man. Well, you don't like my Phillies hat? You don't like my Phillies hat? That's all right. Oh man. And now I definitely, I need, I'm due for a haircut. That's for sure. And, um, We're just, so any other thoughts, any other thoughts about the game? I guess, I mean, I could have that output show it when you build, let me see. Internet suggests restarting Unity in case any tags are marked removed. 
The internet suggests restarting Unity in case any tags are marked or moved. All right, let's restart Unity then. File. Save. File. Exit. File. Exit. Internet suggests restarting Unity in case any tags are marked or moved. Uh, let's go back to that famous setting. Famous setting, famous setting. Have you tried turning it off and on again? I like that mug, it says it works on my computer. All right, so we'll, we've turned it off and on. I'm gonna go down. I got a better setup, by the way. When I move my mouse down off the screen, it goes down and now goes to my uh, space desk chair, which allows me to have my OBS. You know, like my OBS is now on this little space desk chair. And I used to have the hardest time navigating to where that was. So hopefully, <laughs> magic, all right. So let's rerun Unity now. So the only thing I gotta come down here and run the Unity Hub. And because it's down, I miss that taskbar sometimes. All right, Unity Hub. Unity Hub, here it comes, Unity Hub. And then one more bot. It's loading. All right, I hope everyone's having a great day. So if you've never been to the channel before, you know, basically I like to play thinking games, although there's not, you know, always evidence of that. And I've, lately I've been getting in the program and the stream's been helping me. So it's been a lot of fun. All right, so here we have it loaded. High card, slot machine, tagging, game over. Let me just confirm it works after the reload in here. So here's the game loading. It, it shows down here. Uh, can you see that portion? It's probably a little bit low, but you can right here. I did connect. It shows I connected to IR, IRC. And wrong doesn't really work anymore. Up doesn't work anymore. <laughs> up. Oh yeah, up won't work until I go to tag. Now you could do up and then it'll work up 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 but you get let me see something up can actually make you go slower oh game on wow up i saw it on your desktop oh <laughs> gigantic bucket is like hugging the top there oh I, if i time my stop right let me see if i can time my stop right no i didn't it was going too fast. But if I time my stop right now, if I could have spelled it right. Oh, look at Blank Source. Up, right. Kitty Sushi. Wait a minute. Why is Kitty Sushi not on? Oh, there Kitty Sushi is on the screen. Gigantic Bucket. Oh, the community game kept the game from ending. Look at that. A wild dodo appears. Catch it using X. <laughs> oh, catch. And let's try the Ultra Ball. All right. That that looks like a two-headed pigeon or something. The Pokehead community game is really messing us up. Um, stop. Down. Right. Let's bring in Stream Elements Bot. <laughs> Where do young cows eat lunch? In the cafeteria. Why, wow, you launched. That blank source code just really launched. Really launched. And let me see. Bot. Bot up. Bot right. Bot. There it is. And we have a winner! It rigged. It's gotta be rigged if Bionic Toothpick wins. You shouldn't be allowed to win on your own channel. That's not good. That's not good. Alright, pay up everybody. Alright. So, <laughs> rigged. So now, what we can do now is I can type game over. And it goes back to the, you know, it goes back to the menu select. I call it Oz. Yeah, we'll do a rematch soon. Rematch soon. Let's see if we can get the rematch to work with the build and run. Let's see. Okay. 
Dudu has been caught by Kitty Sushi. Congratulations. And Bionic Toothpick. Uh, we both caught that. All right, build and run. Build and run. All right, here we go. It's building the scenes. It's building the player. I hope this works. I really do. It will be a celebration, and I'm going to go get another beverage if it does work. So it's running, and I'll move to the um, slots game. Slots. No, it, it didn't load up. If it, if it worked correctly, when I would go to slots, you would see the... Then it's not doing anything. It just is in this black screen. All right, so let me let me look at let me look at my build run settings. Something something is wrong. Maybe maybe the game over scene should be first because that's the scene that has. Let me make sure I don't dox myself. But I'm thinking maybe the game over scene needs to be first. Did you add the game over scene to the build? I did do that, yes. Hey, how you doing? Uh, hi, people of the stream. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, on DaVinci Resolve, I I can't hear anything. On DaVinci Resolve, you can't yes. hear anything at all? No. All right. And it, it shows that there's sound. Okay. I know what it is, probably. It's your default device. All right, they said hello. The, the stream said hello to you. Okay. Check out my YouTube channel. <laughs> he's worked. <laughs> he said go to his YouTube channel. Look, he's too much. Oh, Blank Source is waiting for episode three. That's what he's working on, Blank Source. He's editing it right now. He's editing it right now, he said, but he can't hear on his DaVinci code. All right. So let me go to these build settings real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's an advocate, self-advised advertiser. Yes, that's funny. Yep, okay, so let me go to this build settings. It's got tag, slot machine, high card, and game over. It's got all four of the scenes. The target platform is Windows. He's using DaVinci Resolve. Um, we downloaded it last week and he watched a couple you you DaVinci Resolve. I think the problem with the sound is we have voice meter banana on there, and I think that's it. I think that's what causes it. So zero, one, two, three. I feel like game over needs to be the first scene. Can I move it? Yes. I think if g game over is the first scene, this might fix it. What are these player settings? Default company. Oh, we're not a default company. We are... The Clem bots. Product name, one more bot. Okay. Slow. All right. That's enough of this. How do I go back to uh, build and run? Build and run. Let's see if it works this time by changing the order of the scene. And I'm going to go up and help him with his sound for a moment and freshen my beverage. I'll be back in a moment if... I think it's going to be a quick fix for his sound. I just think it's a rerunning voice meter banana. All right, this is loading. And it's, yes, I think it's going to be the order of the scene. Let's see. Let's see what's going to go to tag. And let's get a joke. Ah, uh, no, that wasn't it. There's nothing that showed, but let me see. Game over. Slots. It's definitely increased, though. Like, the screen did go blue now. Oh, slots is there. Slots is there. Maybe I'm just not being patient enough. Let's see pool. We got a... a, a we've got a... Um, let me go out of here. Do we see them on the screen? Yeah. So, we, we've got the game running, and the green screen is working. All right, let's do one more pool. I do have to go help my son in a moment, though. There's a Cetelix, a Newgasm, and a Cetelix. Let's go to Game Over. And let me see if Tag works. 
All right, you're welcome to join in. I will be right back. Why is it so windy in an arena? All those fans. All those fans. Yes, and all right, I'll be back in a moment. Uh, we're on intermission for a moment, but I'll leave this. I'll leave this going. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm going to help you with that. I'm going to get another drink. And I think I found the issue. They think you're a great self-advocate. I see the game is over down here. So what do we do when the game is over? We type in game over. The color differences were never changed. Congratulations on the winner. If I type in game over now, it goes back to the selection screen. I'm, re I'm really glad this is coming along. Now my son, I just had to rerun from Voice Meter Banana. I don't know if you're familiar with Voice Meter Banana, but just I think it's worth showing it. It's this, it's this tool right here. So this is showing my microphone and you can change like this will adjust what you how my voice sounds. And uh, I just try to keep it on regular like there and it shut off and that that's what it was. All right, so we got the build working. Now we can move to the next phase and, and not worry about, about it. We can go to a uh, tag. And it will go there. Game over. Should bring it back right away. All right, good. So let's look at our coding for a minute. I want to go into... Wait, where's Oz? Where is my Oz? There it is. Oz. Oz has my select green game script. And this is what we want to look at. 
the challenge I feel is how sometimes chatters, they don't get picked up immediately in the script. Not my select game. I need a new script. I need a new script on here. And that's okay. We're going to we're going to add that script. Let's let's go back to one more bot and the script the select game I want to move into scripts. Paintball was something that never got off the ground, so that doesn't need to go into scripts. We can get rid of that. But what I need is the save chatter and I want to move that to Oz. So we're going to move save chatter into Oz. Does it let me? Now Oz has the save chatter info. This is what we're going to work on. This is for saving the information. I told my son, I said, you can join the stream if you want. I, I You could post your link for when you get to number three. Let me look at here. The, the, the game is really delayed. I can't help that. That's one thing. That's one thing with Twitch. Aren't they working on something with Twitch that's going to allow less, less delay time? And what is this? The color differences never changed. Emote Party Popper Prime Gaming. Emote Party Popper Prime Gaming. Global. I'm not sure what that what that was from. Okay. All right. So I've got this persistence data. The colors were the same blue for me and one other. A lot of us are a similar shade of blue. Oh, could you see? Were you able to see them? Let me. Let me just. I'm gonna have that run in the background. It can certainly be running in the background. All right, so let me, um, vaguely. All right, so what I want to, um, these, the names are different. I don't know. Oh, you are. Kitty Sushi looks a little bit darker. I see. I see that. And look, at Stream Elements is even blue. All right, so why that's moving, I'm, what I want to do here is where I'm giving the, see where it saves the file, write all, application, save to JSON. I don't want it to be this chatter info chatter name. I need to get, I need to get that data in this public class and I need to pull that, pull that name into my avatar creator script. I have the chatter tags user ID, chatter tags user ID. And that's, that's how I want to save it by the user ID. Toothpicks contains chatter tags user ID. This is what I want. And I need that in save chatter info. This should be able to get that object, that name, the latest chatter. What is this? The music or, or what? What is this? I'm not sure to which this you refer. Let's get one. Um, let's get it. What is it called? Why is it called the Dark Ages? My thing won't go right. Oh, yeah. You need to stop first. If you're going super fast, it, it will not. It will not move for you. And I definitely see the issue with your colors being so bright i definitely i definitely see that i made a playlist for hiking it has music from peanuts the cranberries and eminem i call it my trail mix oh boy and also when remember the user id is different from the username yes 
gigantic bucket. That I, I do know. The user ID, a person can't change, right? But they can change their username. So I wanted it to be, keep like long-term methods. So like a year from now, the per yeah, if like a year from now, if the person comes back on, um, it's it's pretty easy to see that Green is doing something here, but Pokemon Community Game can't get blocked. Okay, stop. That Pokemon community game is fast. And he... <laughs> there he is. Who won? Oh, I, Bionic Toothpick. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Um, I am going to change it. I am going to change this. So, the person has to type... Has to type exclamation join. Like I do want to change that to exclamation join. Um, game over. So that's that. And I got to work on the high low game now. Well, not now because I'm working on the other piece. But I want you to be able to see the dealer's card and then be able to type. Like nine is one of those middle ones. Are you gonna? How much are you gonna wage with your cards higher or lower? So eventually you'll be able to put in. You know, if you think it's higher or lower or whatever, you know, you change your bet. You could, you could bet high or low. <laughs> so this needs a lot of improvement. A lot of improvement, but it's, it's there. But let me go back to this script, though. It's hard to think of the same things twice. So string chatter, I need to be able to make sure I can access this. I think I want to do it here. Um, string temp name. String temp name, that's all. And then I want the temp name, temp name, Ooh, because this this does oh this doesn't get the new message. This doesn't get me. No blank source because the I don't instantiate a prefab for every game. But this is not going to be the right one. It needs to be in the game over. I see what you're saying. I do see what you're saying. The script is on the prefab. No, it's not on the prefab. Like, let me go into the, into the game structure real quick. So you've got your game over scene, which is also the game beginning. Like this scene is, is where it's running everything, choosing a game. Then it would go to the high card game, the slot machine game, the tag game, whatever games I have in the future. And then... I think I, I think I have when join when join is picked that's when I would want it excuse me my eye edges all right all right I'm not interested in lyrics like I, lyrics and me don't mix when I'm trying to think I, I can't I can't deal with uh, lyrics Let's look at the script. We can move it where we need it after the script is working. Because regardless... Oh, wait a minute. I'm thinking about this. So this, this, this is the script that's going to have the chatter info that comes from... Like if you... I'll show you here. Like if you look at... If you look at this... There's this chatter info. I, I don't want to dox myself. I just want to make sure it's not open. I'll be right back. New message. High card. I think all of them had it. Card game. I feel like everyone has it. It has that new message. 
it has that new message. See where it says latest chatter? Login channel message. That's in all the scripts when when something's called. Like here in, in the card game. This new message. Public void new message. Chatter chatter. This is when I want want it done. Every new message probably should have that in it. And if it's loaded, not reload it. And I want it saved only once I need like a global indicator I don't want it to load every time public do you have a script that's alive in all scenes well the uh, the IRC script uh, let me let me close out the one that's running and you can watch the the structure of the project let me close this um, game that's running I'm going to bring this down here and I'm going to close this. Then I'm going to run it blank source in Unity. And then you can see, you'll be able to see what's running here. I should be able to bring it. So if I'm here, if I run this, we can see what's going on. All right, so right now is the game over scene. This is what's running, the game over scene. And in the game over scene, I have a main camera and I have Oz. Now, wait a minute, though, because it should also have it also has the, the Twitch, the don't destroy on load. The Don't Destroy and Load has Twitch IRC running. So Twitch IRC is running everywhere. What's under Don't Destroy and Load? That's the Twitch IRC script. That's the Twitch IRC script. And the Twitch IRC script has the main thread and the Twitch IRC script running in it. The main thread script is the one that I didn't write. That's part of here. Don't destroy and load this game object. I want it to be available on every scene. Make a new manager script and put it on a game object under don't destroy on load. Make a new manager script and put it on a game object under don't destroy on load and have the manager script control the data. Will that interfere with this main thread that's part of the Twitch? Because um, I come here and have that manager script control the data. Could I add it? Okay, so the, this don't destroy on load it, what it has how the uh, argument exception scene manager well you can't read that let me see something i got to i want you to be able to read the bottom of this let me see it's not right there it's probably too small to read but it says let me stop this when i run it this Twitch IRC, the main thread script. The main thread. This is the one that's not getting destroyed on load. This is the main thread. Using system, using system collections generic, using Unity Engine. This script is used to send multi-threaded operations to the main Unity thread. <laughs> it's always too small to read stuff on my phone, so mostly I just guess what your code says, LOL. Yes. <laughs> well, you do a good job with that, Blank Source. To be honest, I'd have the manager script control handling chat message, too. All right, so I think, I think that this 
main thread script, I didn't write it. I think this is handling that stuff because it does like a task queue and it, it cues the next things. And it's, and let me see what it's on. I do think the problem with new message is I, I think it, only one of the scenes can get the new message. So if I have that be the reason this happens, it won't do the saving. But what do I know? I don't really know, but I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. All right. So don't destroy unload. As soon as I hit play, when I hit play, I'm going to see what doesn't get destroyed on load. This Twitch IRC doesn't get destroyed on load. And Twitch IRC has the main thread and the IRC script. So I think if I add that script that's handling the new message. All right, let's look at the Twitch IRC script because I think have manager script hook in the new message and have it pass those messages on to the active scene. Yes. So this is the IRC script that gets public class, new chat message event, unity engine events, unity event chatter. Basically refactor all your code. Woo. Well, I'm getting closer to at least knowing what the code does, so that's a plus, without a doubt. Public new chat message event equals a new chat message event. Public status event equal new status event. That's the TCP client, the IRC, the LRs, the Twitch details, the settings, pairing connection. This handles the connection, connects the I enumerator. Okay, so what public class new chat message event? Let me see when new chat message event is is getting called new chat message event. Public, let's see when main thread instance in queue new chat message invent invoke the new chatter the private message along with the tags. Main thread instance, it enqueues the new chat message invoke. So that would be the main thread. The Twitch IRC script handles all that stuff. I wouldn't change it. Yes. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want to change it, but I want to get a look at what it's doing. That's going to handle all this except for... I want to be able to load when a new chatter types in for the first time So, I made the video. Could you help me upload it into YouTube? Penguin NBC, welcome. Yes. Log into your YouTube. Let me know when you are on your YouTube. Yes, that's what your new manager script will do. Okay. I'll look at that in one minute. Let me help Penguin NBC real quick. So my uh, son's third YouTube video is going to be coming up. <laughs> Blank source, I can't do anything in code at the same time. Or watch a stream. <laughs> All right, I hope everyone's doing well. We're just working on trying to incorporate saving into my um, chat bot. With the help from the stream so when we play the games we'll be able to use our tokens in there or whatever you want to call it you know that we have and penguin NBC is the first time chat from him by the way my son does not follow my channel which that's fine <laughs> all right this new message When a new message happens in this Twitch IRC. Yes, go to your room. He's punished. 
<laughs> Dirt or escape, no one caught it. I don't know if anyone tried to catch it. Yep, Pokemon, the Pokemon already escaped. Okay, so when you're there, let me see something. Are you on, are you on my screen? Like, are you watching the stream, Nick, or are you just into my channel? You see right here? You see where this little video is here where it says create? So when you click on create and then upload video. And then you go to the file. You select the file that you want to um, upload. And you browse to where you have your file. Okay? Do you still, do you need any other further, um, any, anything else? Do you need anything else? I'd be glad to show you if you do. Is that enough to get you through it? Bag of memes. The bag of memes. A joke here. My dog has no nose. How does he smell? Awful. Mm. Yes, it doesn't give me the edited version. All right. We will go to a quick intermission and I'll come up and, and fix that for you. Leave that there just to see if anybody get it. But what I'm, what the problem I'm, I'm thinking about is this Twitch IRC. It's giving this new message. Where is it? Where is the new message? Public new chat message, new chat message event, new chat messages. I accidentally threw my laptop on the floor as I got up from my chair. Oh no. That I wish I, I I've never done anything like that. <laughs> I hope that it survived the fall. I mean I really do. My kitchen table sometime looks, you know, my wife might be on her computer, I might have my computer and they're sharing the plugs and you want to go get something and it's so easy to trip over those cords. 
it really uh, can be a be a problem. So I'm sorry to hear about that. Hopefully it it, it survived. What do we have going on here? So what, what I'm trying to look at is these events, this new chat message event. Then when I look in my like chat movement, I got I pull up these new messages. Um, right at the beginning, under class usually. Audio source, rig body, Twitch IRC, IRC. And I keep calling the IRC new chat message event, add listener new message. So I almost want I want those chat detailers like each scene is hooking in the new message how do you do the wordle thing in the top right oh just type a five letter word uh you type a five letter word and no nothing before it. just you know like if you have an id just guess It does, the logic works on the game pretty well. There are a couple errors like with the logic. So for example, if there's two letters and the first one's in the wrong place and the second one's in the correct place, sometimes it, it interferes. Just have a manager script listen to new message. When it does exclamation join, it loads the file. Oh, good guess, Penguin. NBC, good guess. Chart. Look at that. The word was corn you boo i hate when it has words that like i don't know i hate when it has words i don't know it makes me angry it makes me angry when it has words i don't know all right but that being said black source should make it sound so easy just have a manager script listen to new message when it set, gets joined it loads the file oh i i think corn you has to <laughs> Corn you. Corn you's got to be a word. Look, corn you. A horn shaped projection of the thyroid cartilage or of certain bones, such as the hyoid and the caucus. Either the two lateral cavities of the uterus into which the fallopian tubes pass. There you are. And, uh, yep. So it didn't just make it up. It's. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy uh, that's funny that is funny all right i think we're gonna go and i think we're ready to look and see this um, i'm gonna learn about these scripts he's talking about right now blank source is telling me to look up a manager script so we're gonna look at our one more bot chat all right, here we are. This is no, this is not the right place. Peels. Peels. All right, I'm, I'm continuing on your games for a minute. I am going to try to see this. A manager script, create empty 2D objects, 3D objects, effects, light, audio, video, a user interface, a user document, a camera, a visual scripting scene variable. manager we've got people guessing on the manager script let's see what we've got here manager script unit the best way to create a manager script now here's the challenge with the manager script is it going to take in the new message is it going to know I want to create a game manager, audio manager, etc., but I don't know which method to use and which one is best in which situation. Should I make the script a singleton or make it don't destroy and load script? Yeah, I want it to be part of the don't destroy and load. That I know. Hi, this topic has been discussed many times during the last seven, eight years or so. It might be a good idea to do a few Google searches and check what people have said and why. But first, you probably have to figure out what you actually need instead of just thinking about a manager. And it might be that you don't need a singleton, and maybe your manager doesn't need to persist from scene to scene or another. It doesn't matter. Use whatever works. Also, don't destroy and load script as effectively as singleton. Pro trip. Pro tip. 
Try to stay away from God objects like that and break up the logic into smaller, more attainable modules. Actually, I've created two mobile games in both of them. That's enough of that. Red Raids and Doe. Okay. I, this song's a little creepy. What is this song? Let's see if I can find it and change it. It's a little bit like Pink Floyd, though, and I do like Pink Floyd. It was a Legend of Zelda song for the curious. And this is F-Zero. Cloud. You've got the O-U-D. Didn't you guess Cloud last time? And how's that YouTube video coming up? You getting closer? Chat movement. Gambler data. Save chatter info. Cloud, no cough. Oh, cough was your last one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how do you think... Have you ever seen the game I made on chat with the help of the stream? I'm going to show it to you. So if I type this tag, Penguin, NBC, now type something in chat. Type anything you want to. And I'll wait patiently because there could be a lag or you may not want to participate. Pizza. And so this is your chat color, white. And then Kitty Sushi comes in. And then you can move yourself by using commands like up. Oh, look at that. That's one of the... I came right on top there. Odor. Was that the was that the winner? I, I... So you can move with your exclamation up and you can actually put your commands in like you could do up, right, up, left, up, like that type of thing. You can parse those. Trims. Trims, that's a good guess. Three out of the five letters on one go. All right, so we're over here. Oh, I hear music. Somebody won. Somebody won. And notice, the, because it's running in the game here, it's not the build version. The build version of it's much better because it will run in the background. So, anyway, that's how that game works. Thank you uh, for playing. And I can load that up in the background. Let me just do that. Where is it? One more bot. We're going to run that in the background. It's made with Unity. And I'm going to go to Tag. Joke, is it there? Doctor, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? Maybe I had to go to slots first? Hmm, I'm going to give it a minute to load. Something might be interfering with it from connecting. So what I'm... Rest. What is this? I don't know what that word would be. The main thread here... The chat movement. Chat movement took Twitch IRC, but where? I, I know that I have it in there. I... Power, initial color, Twitch IRC, IRC. I'm trying to find out where the name of the player was. No drips, no. So close. The 
the lag is there really is a lot of lag i i i um i can tell that more than i would even think a lot a lot of lag norbert was caught by kitty sushi good job you you caught it nice work all right what I, what i'm trying to figure out here is where I'm getting the new message from. The new message. Drios. D-R-I. D-R-I. I don't know. It's I need like a word with just words I know. Dryas. Dryos is a city. From the hook you add and start. From the hook you add and start. IRC game object. Oh, uh, right here. The new chat message event. But that's part of this. Add listener new message. Now what I'm worried about. Dries. That was it. Kitty Sushi. Very good. <laughs> Very good. You got it. IRC new chat message event. Way to go. Way to go. Why is that not? Okay. It picked up the emote name. <laughs> nice all right so this is where i'm getting this new chat message event and that's from the irc equals game job define it's in star and i pull it up here private twitch irc but <laughs> is that a rhetorical question blank source code yeah but i'm i'm trying to learn this script by osmosis look help me out here oh i never put it's made for kids on youtube videos like kids shouldn't be on youtube you know that got a lot of um have I made my new script yet here's this here's the save data script this is the save data script but it's not going to be this chatter name anymore no I don't put made for kids I mean kids can watch it it's made by a kid right like you're 13 so it's made by a kid but if you specifically say made for kids I feel like it does different things I, I wouldn't do it this is the same script you have in every scene if you don't know it by now I fear you may never know practically the same script <laughs> I I understand that you give up on the word It does do different things. Don't say it's for kids. Yeah, but here's my here. Look, this is my concern. Watch. I, I, here's my concern. I'm going to I'm going to explain it. I feel like new message only gets picked up once. So what you're suggesting is new message when it says join that that's the only time it gets taken into context for loading but the problem is all right. All right and i will know i will know i know i will know
Listen to him, uh, Nick. Blank's worst code is giving you good advice. Don't, and I think you didn't put kids, so that's good. All right, let's end this game up here. I'm moving. I'm going up. Why did he not change? And then left. Stop. Stop. Quit hitting me. I'm like, this is a terrible... Whoa, look at this. We got all kinds of stuff happening there. Oh, boy. So close. The Pokemon community game. If only he could hit somebody. I made a comeback. You did. The screen... Oh, ha, <laughs> ha. That's funny. Penguin NBC just turned green because he's never moved. Oh, it is rigged. It is rigged. Game over. All right. How long is your video? 13 minutes? I'm definitely going to watch it. I'm definitely going to watch it. All right. Very good. Very good, Penguin NBC. I will definitely look at that. Your new manager script will listen to the new message, and when it hears exclamation join, it'll load the data based on the chatter ID that said join and add it to a list. <laughs> Stream view and party. All right. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let me see something. Hang on. Disconnected by the server. Now I got all kinds of craziness. This, this is absurd. I can't hear it. I can barely hear it. Let me see something. I can barely heal it, hear it. I'm glad you made it. I'm, I'm definitely going to watch it later. I, I can't hear it well enough. I see you're getting attacked by a skeleton, though. Alright. Alright. Watch out. Penguin's going to issue a DMC takedown notice because you were sharing his copyrighted content on your stream. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, YouTube violation. Alright. Or something. Okay, so here we go. Let's go into this script. We'll do two things. I gotta hit, I gotta go back into this. Control Shift T, Control Shift T. No, that's not right. I want the OC Remix back on. Okay, that's what I wanted. Turn it down a little bit. All right, back to my script. All right, let's let's go to the main thread. This new message. We're going to make the new script right now. And we're going to make the new message right now. We're going to use the card games. We're going to use this five why would it be private in one, public in the other? Public chatter, latest chatter. Oh, wait a second. Uh -huh, I knew you would eventually. <laughs> yes, I have to make that script. Minecraft eating sounds are so soothing. How about the zombies? Mm, mm, mm.
I see what happened. Where is... I want to go... Private means only stuff in the script can use it. Public is any script can access it. Okay. Thank you. So private, the stuff in that script can use it. Okay. I keep hitting all tab. You would not believe how many times trying to find this window. I was looking for this window this long. So in the game over scene, this Twitch IRC block, this is where I want to make the new script. So we're going to add a component and it's going to be a new script. And this is going to be called manager. That's probably a bad name to use. So we'll call it the manager, the manager. And why? Well, look at that. Look, why does it call it script there? I don't like that. See how I call it main thread? That's just called script. I don't. Oh, yeah. You're going to redeem something? I'm going to guess peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> Wordle is in the way. Wordle is always in the way. But that'll be one of the games that's only a minute. You know, not a minute, but like Gigantic Bucket on his stream, he does a nice job with his Wordle. I'm going to redeem that stream stuff in a minute. Wordle's going to about to disappear. Wordle. Disappear. There it is. And then I'm going to hydrate again. I drink too fast out of this cup, though. And then stretch. I probably should stand up once in a while. I should probably play a video game once in a while, too. It could be good exercise. You know, get that. Come pressure. Oh, man. I need to add push-ups to my stream. I could use some reason exercise. Maybe I'll, <laughs> Maybe I'll get some real exercise in. All right, so where where should this script go? I put it here, and I don't like that it calls it script. I want to remove the component. I don't like that it called the jumping jacks for three fifty. <laughs> Our combined channel points would get you buff in no time. <laughs> oh boy, could you? You wouldn't want to hear me out of breath. I'd be like. It'd be like uh, it would be like Darth Vader. Nobody wants to hear that. I mean, in the movie, Darth, you know, it's great, but not be good. So if I want to add the component and I want it to be a new script, why didn't it let me name it? Oh, here you are. Name. Bionic Chad Pick. Oh, thanks for the follow, Penguin NBC. Thank you. <laughs> All right, this is going to be called the manager. A script called the manager already exists at that path. Oh. So maybe I can just drag it now. Let me go back. Oh, you're trying to bring out. You are welcome. All right. I want the manager to be here. Can't add script component to manager because the script class cannot be found. Make sure that there are no compile errors in the file name and class name match. Add the new message stuff into manager. Maybe once I have it in there, it'll work. All right. So let's go into... I think the card game was one of my more recent ones. So we need the private Twitch IRC... Let me just take it and delete it. Uh, that'll be easier. The manager. I'm here to see the manager. I'm here to see the manager. So the manager. It doesn't need this. It doesn't need that. It doesn't need a prefab. It doesn't need a card. It doesn't need the card images. 
It doesn't need the latest chatter. It doesn't need this. It doesn't need any of that. But, it doesn't need this. It doesn't need this stuff. Oh, it needs this. It needs that. It doesn't need that. It doesn't need this. Oh, public void new message. So. so the public class the manager it uses the game object get component which irc irc new chat message add listener in a week you need to make it stay alive when you change scene the same way you saw the twitch irc thing to it right if i if can't I just have one game object that just stays awake and they all would stay awake with it? Wait. Why is it? Wait a minute. Why is this awake? It was something like don't destroy and load true. Yeah. Right, right, I've got that. I know that that's on the main thread. Watch, and the main has that. This main thread? Instance this. I want this to be available in every scene. Instance. So why, why would instance be there? That's interesting. They make instance equal this. I just hit control V. I don't even know where I am. Go back to the main thread. Awake. I, I <laughs> copy and paste that into the manager. Right click, copy. It's fun to say the manager, isn't it? manager it's using a thing called a singleton pattern so you only ever have one instance in your entire app thank you don't destroy and load this game object so irc equal a game object find get component irc new chapter add new message add listen or new message public void new message i'm afraid the first the first time they do this lovely jubbly what I, what I'm concerned about, I want to show you what I'm concerned about. Like there's a because this new message stuff interferes with some of the gameplay. Like I'm gonna I'm running this right here, right? So if I go to say I go to slots, slots came right up, and I go to pool, and this works. But say now I want to go to tag. If I want to go back to slots, it makes myself, it's not till the second time I put slots in that it goes to slots. So either I have something wrong with the way I'm doing commands or when it's within that other game, it's not seeing that. But you always want to be looking for join. So I, I think it's going to be look, like if a tag is fine, but if I go right to slots now, you see what I'm talking about? You can make the manager handle scene changes if you want. All right, I just made my game over scene, but I, I'm learning. But uh, this is this is, I think, I think like you know I'm reaching this point where I, I've hit this like little bit of a wall, and I'm trying to expand what I can do, and it's just a slower process than it might be for other people. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, but I, I'm, I'm thinking there might be a logic error because if I go to high low right now, and then if I go to tag, it goes right to tag and it goes right to high low. So I think I must be checking. I bet you that's what it is. I bet you when I'm leaving tag, let's see this tag. 
When I'm leaving tag, this new message is doing something different. IRC new chat, add listener new message. Let me see what this new message does. New message. Rigid body, get component, rigid body. If chatter tags display name equals bionic toothpick and it equals slots. Wait a minute. It's creating, you copied and pasted into every scene. Public void message. But some, it does something before the scene. Here it goes right to slots. Here it goes right to high-low. Here it goes right to game over. Oh, let me see if game over goes from tag. I'm in tag now. So if I type game over, is it going to make my avatar? Oh, it made my avatar and, and went to um, tag. The manager is your ticket to cleaner and easier to follow a code. And it's fun to say, the manager, take me to the manager. Maybe it's just because like I'm near Philly. So it just sounds, makes it sound more fun. All right. That being said, we got a joke here. What did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? I matey, I matey, Arr. <laughs> Not bad. I never heard that one. That's a new one to me. All right. So let's go to the manager. And see what the manager's doing. Void start, new chat, add listener, new message. Now, this new message is going to have... Is the new message going to have all the elements that we need? Is the new message going to have all the elements we need? Let me check. New message, chatter, chatter, because it has the chatter, the chatter message. It also has all the chatter components. <laughs> We're almost ready for that coding session, Blank Source, where you join in on my uh, Discord and uh, help out that way, but okay. Why don't you move the scene changing code into the manager? All right. Well, let me, if I go to my, if I go into this, help me understand why that would be better than having the game over scene handle it. Tell me why you think that's better than having the game over scene handle it. Oh, because it would only be in one place. Just have it in one place. No, it gets loaded from every scene. That's true. It gets loaded from every scene. So let me take this... Let me take this select game script. Your game over scene isn't alive all the time, so when it's not loaded, it can't do anything. Right, it doesn't load until somebody says game over, and that somebody is there. So this, this right here, come on. Control C. And then to the manager. Public void message. So what we're looking at here, okay, so the latest chatter equal chatter, but I don't I don't need that. Mm, yeah, I guess I do. I need to find out where I'm getting my latest chatter from. Yeah, this is called what the rework in the whole code. 
This is called reworking the the whole code here. I need this public chatter equal the latest chatter. Um. Want that into the manager and up here latest chatter equal chatter chatter to be honest we would it could have just used the select game scene as the manager script <laughs> yes it is like copy and paste and all of it yes Yeah, yeah, I, right, the select game script as the manager. And then we would have just had to add do not, don't, don't destroy loan, this, on select game. Mm hmm But it's good practice for me. All right, so latest chatter equal chatter. Tag, slot, slot machine, high, low, high card. But there's still no game over. I still want game over to clear the screen. Like to clear the game. There should be no game. Like game over is just that. <laughs> oh, well, I can't remember everything you've wrote. And I certainly can't read it on my tiny phone. Look, I appreciate your help. I, re I appreciate your help regardless wherever you're reading it, because you really you really have made this come a long way. We've been able to do a lot together, so I appreciate it. Right, that being said, what what is this object browser? I must have opened something and didn't want that. So the, the manager right now is taking this private Twitch IRC and the public chatter latest chatter. This new message chatter chatter is pulling the chatter because it's an event and it's adding this new ad listener new message and still have an empty game over scene yeah the game over the game over scene will, will be almost empty it'll load it'll load a scene called game over like right here If chatter tags display name equal bound to toothpick and chatter message equals game over, then it loads scene game over. But can one new message get called to multiple scripts? Like this one's running, is it gonna is it gonna trigger both events? It's got three errors here. Let's see. Invalid expression term. I must have, I must have did like a typo or something because I should not have changed anything in this. A wild ponytail appears. Catch it using exclamation poke catch. When is revealed in 90 seconds. Like. I should not have uh, typed anything in this script. Like this should not have had any changes. So main thread instance in queue does not equal invoke new chat or private only assignment calling from a Wait, this should not have not have been changed. I need to exit everything real quick. I feel like I might have my keyboard skills might have messed something up. We got to exit everything. I'll say we got to exit everything. I think I might have goofed, which is not what I wanted to do. All right. That's the problem with having a keyboard underground under this table. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, no. All right. Watch. It's going to tell me to go into your thing is in an error state. Do you want to go to safe mode? That's what it's going to tell me. I guarantee it. it's going to say you are in an error mode or something do you want to go to safe mode yep enter safe mode i ought to have my scripts backed up so i can see what's going on twitch irc invalid expression term 
All right. So this is not good. I'm going to fix that. I got to fix out these bugs. I got to fix them out. Scripts. Rich IRC. We got to see what's what happened here. I made it. I it's just going to be something real little that I did wrong. Twitch IRC. It says projects loaded and ready to use. Background tasks are still running. Only assignment calling when you uh, valid expression type. This this is this Twitch IRC thing is too big. It's not mine. It's it's definitely definitely a mess. I'm going to have to get back on here and fix this. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it a you deleted something. I absolutely did. Control Z. I have the I have the source code. I'm going to go work on it in a little bit. Listen, I want to thanks for everybody. I'm going to be back hopefully soon with this corrected and an update. I am going to go to an intermission for a minute. Yep. Yep. I have the I have the original, so I'm going to look at it in a moment, but I need to go take care of something. I will be back in a few minutes if uh, Intermission is coming up.
You still have a few of them. I don't know how many you saw that. My son ready for me to watch his video. He, he, I got to help him with his audio because the music. Like, I just got to help him with his audio so you can hear it better because his episode was making a farm and I definitely want him to be able to to play that. So I, I've got to go in here real quick in in my one more bot safe mode. If I go to this hierarchy project into the scenes, right click, show and explore. I should have a backup of this one more bot right here. Uh, why is 7-Zip not open with 7-Zip, 7-Zip, open archive. So if I go into these assets, scripts, and then if I open up this Twitch IRC script, let me just open. I want to use Notepad Plus. I want to find out what the error was. Why don't I see? Why don't I see Notepad Plus? Notepad Plus Plus. I'm looking for Notepad Plus Plus. I don't see it. Unbelievable. Gonna open this. Now what where is this error on this line? Three errors. Invalid expression term, period. Wait a minute. This is the backup version of it? No, no, we're gonna close everything. This is weird. If I'm loading it from the save, I gotta say, close this. Closing all this. Chin Chow escaped. Scripts. Chat movement, avatar creator, Twitch IRC. Let me extract. Open, open, sit, open outside. Grave file link. View. Select all. Copy. Let me close this. This should be the backup of it. Then if I go into this. This is the one with the air. Let me load my notepad plus. Notepad. Why I couldn't see that in the other thing, I have no idea. File, new. And I want to paste this. Control V should paste the whole thing. Now this is telling me invalid term on line 284. So let's go into the other one and look at line 284. 284. Main thread instance queue. Copy. Yeah. Copy. We're going to copy line 284. Let me just, I want to hit this and see. So that's, that's the difference. I, I lost a little bit. Somehow I took out that. Now there's no errors. Let's save it. I'm glad I had a backup of that, but I wonder if I messed up any of the other stuff accidentally. I just want to make sure we're where we were before the stream started. Where, what happened, you know? We'll see if we can close this window and get into this one and make sure, just to make sure if everything is working before we move on. Told my son I'd be up there in a couple minutes. So I definitely need to go take care of that. All right, so um, let's see if we can go to slots. A pool. Look at that, three gigantic buckets. Game over. And tag. 
and high low high low game over all right we're where we were we're definitely where we were i appreciate everybody's help i'm going to get back on this game over uh i script and we'll spend twitch rc select game avatar where is the boss the manager there he is the manager we're going to work on that all right i'm going to go up and spend a little bit of time with my son and uh, thanks for people streaming in and helping out special thanks to blank source you were a big help today too so I call that out and I'll be back soon I hope hope everyone has a great evening